Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we have another aquarium upgrade. Besides a couple of things I just did, the LED light, uh, the heater, and today we got something else. This aquarium, I hardly come out to the garage and feed the fishes. Uh, I need to start coming out more often. I I have these because uh, I grow plants in here. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking the plants, putting them in my other aquarium. I do have a bunch of snails and a couple shrimp in here, and. Um, one or two fishes are swimming around, but not that many, but they still need to be fed. So uh, I need something to come and feed them when I forget about it. Or if I'm traveling and you want to make sure you have something, someone or something to feed them, got the solution for you guys. So let's take a look. So in the mail today, no name, no nothing, no number, no nothing. It's just a basic number one in amazon they said so let's check it out and see if it's one number one so number one in number amazon if you can see it's a feeder it's an auto feeder uh it's it's called pet act uh, act that's all it is uh pet oh petak <laughs> or something like that petak <laughs> so we're gonna put it to the test and now there's a couple of them that they sell and these are rechargeable but not this one this is a double a battery two double a batteries that include you need to set up and let's set the timer up too and see how difficult it is to do it so let's go do go ahead and do that and turn it on all right i'm gonna do this on the floor because i don't have a studio set up yet enough but two double a batteries in the back all right just put the batteries in there if you can see it so right now there's a couple feeding cycles in here um not sure yeah i'm gonna read some instructions and see how to set this up and see how easy it is but let's see what this button does oh this button is to feed them right now look at that let's see what happens so i'm spinning it all right this one's a little difficult so we're gonna turn it on right now and see how to set it up um, the instructions are not very thorough they're a little difficult but we're gonna crank it up right now we have three minutes so we're gonna set this up timer let's go to timer okay so right now we're gonna set it up um, time right now okay Google what time is it 8.05 p.m. So 8.05 p.m. So it's 8.06 and we're going to set the cycles up. How many times do you feed them a day? And this is a 24-hour clock. So we're going to go ahead and set up uh, one at 8.06, uh, 8.07 for now. So let's do one. Hold the button down. And we set up the timer already that's number one we're gonna do eight eight oh seven eight oh eight and get out of all of them right now at eight oh eight it's gonna start spinning it's supposed to do two spins for two cycles if you guys see it you have to hold down the button and this is pretty much the button that you do it right here the center button so right now we're in the first you're gonna do the first cycle at 808 and let's go ahead and do it and as soon as it starts we'll see a spinning so right now we're supposed to see 808 i didn't put pm am uh, i'm not quite sure how to do that yet but we'll do, figure it out right now as we go along so right now we didn't put am or pm it does it automatically if it's am or pm we're probably going to do one cycle per per um per day in different hour cycles so let's go ahead and do that right now so right now it's going to hit eight eight oh eight there's eight oh eight and it starts spinning the first cycle. it's going to spin twice guys because i set up twice two cycles on the first little box if you see there's four boxes there four feeding times so that's one That's one. And there's number two. And it's just stop at number two. So not bad, not bad. We're gonna set up another cycles and continue. So this little manual here, this hand is to, you can automatically feed them if you want to. And that's not bad. Um, it's not that difficult to install after all. I, I mean, the AMPM, I haven't figured that out, but 
I'm just gonna do it through every time it hits a.m. or p.m. to just do one cycle per per feed. Uh, so I could feed them four times a day if I want to, three times a day, depends on, on what you want to set up. So let's go ahead and keep programming and they're gonna fill it up. All right, so I just figured something out. This is not a, this is a 24 hour setup. So it goes um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 24. And then from there it restarts. So I'm gonna do three cycles right now. I'm doing 8 a.m., 1600, and then the 2300. So I'm gonna do three feeding cycles because I don't have too many fishes in here. And only one loop, so I could drop one one uh, set of food. So let's go ahead and spill it up and see how how well it feeds them. So, and the battery, uh, the indicator tells you how much battery life you have in there. I like that, so I like it. Let's go ahead and do that, right? set it up. All right, so you need to open the top. There's two tops, all right? So the largest one, put them in there. Make sure everything's broken in pieces and you control how much feed you're gonna do. So don't open it all the way up or it's gonna throw a lot of it up, all right? So make sure you control that and that's, we're gonna keep it to half ways even to throw it. And we're gonna test it out, see how much it could throw first. So I would suggest throw, make sure you test it out too. Uh, that's very important. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put it to a test. Now, something very important that came in the box, there's a little adhesive right now, a little sticker tab, and that's for the glass. So it won't damage your glass from the outside. So I like that. So let's go ahead and set this up and come back for more. I'm gonna put a little bit of food here and just to test out and see how it works. So we mix it up with shrimp and um, fish food. So let's go ahead and uh, shrimp food and fish food. All right, just a little snip right now to test it out. And we should move this a little bit further back but it's okay right now if it hits my heater i should move it more my heater all right so let's go ahead and test it out right now see how much food i need to open if i have to open up more so i'm going to test it out by one cycle only so if you can see it spinning let's see how much food it goes down okay that's not bad oh that's a lot <laughs> well that's not bad it's not bad so not bad it did release a couple of food if you can see it so you gotta mess with this you gotta test it out i was just test it out so i'm gonna put some more food in there and make sure it's filled into the top to the rim so i don't have to come back every day and feed these guys so they're gonna have enough food and it, it, there's enough food going now if you can see it there's my little shrimp right there that guy that sucker right there he's a hard worker he's cleaning up my plants this is very calming very soothing i like it like it i'm very impressed with it i like it that they set up all the cycles and everything very simple to use uh i thought it was gonna be a little difficult but uh after understanding everything and testing it out it was uh it was a learning curve it's a learning curve but it, it came out really good so i'm very impressed with it if you guys like what you guys see make sure you guys subscribe i'm your host frank the tank and we are out